this unit is a self assessment it give you to practice working on a sewing machine by the end of this unit a student will be able to apply their skill to handle the machine apply their skill to control the pace of the machine describe the working mechanism of the machine describe the function of different part of the machine observe the fabric stitch look identify the error that may occur when using the machine straight line practice on fabric see we have a two ply of the fabric the dimension of this material is a 12 by 12 inches this length is a 12 inches and this width is a 12 inches and the length is a grain wise and grain line mark is already on the exercise and this exercise is already marked with 1 inches difference is there it is advisable before you start your exercise please check thread tension thread tension should be balance and spi a stitch per inch a standard spi is 10 to 12 and the thread balancing is a good idea to use two different color of thread see the demonstration hold the thread switch on your machine place the fabric under the pressure foot place the ply under pressure foot align mark that needle should be on the mark hold the thread have a one stitch and then carry on be careful try to drive it slow your sewing machine as possible as you can needle should run on pencil mark your both hands should guide your exercise exercise should not pull towards your side leave it free stop it look at here the stitches are on pencil mark should not be aware of the pencil mark and balancing of a stitch should be perfect here we are using two different color thread because to check the stitch are balance or not one is a red color and other one is a white color here is a stitch is balance repeat the operation on other line now exercise this line is over in this exercise lift your pressure foot pull out your ply towards back side and trim the thread repeat the same operation on other mark be sure ply should not shift and balance by hand stop it repeat the same operation on this mark this mark this mark this mark and entire exercise
in this exercise, this is the straight line practice. Now look at here, this line is straight, this line is straight, this line is straight, this one is also straight. Now this line is disturbed because machine is not achieving or the student is not achieving the target and look at here the pencil mark is here and stitches is going this side and here pencil mark is here and stitching is going outside this is not acceptable and this next line the stitch length is too much as per requirement this is also quality problem which is not acceptable so be ensure yourself that first SPI means stitch per inch as per requirement and the stitch should be on the line and stitch should be balanced. Earlier you develop and work on a straight line practice. Now the level of difficulties is increasing. You have to work now on curve line. The exercise is a French curve practice. French curve is already marked on two pieces of material. The dimension of the material will be the same as the previous one. Now we will start stitching. The purpose of this exercise is to control and coordination of your hand movement and the machine. How you will start? Place the material under the pressure foot and align the needle on French curve mark and start stitching. Hold the top thread first, insert your needle on pencil mark, release the tension of pressure foot, and carry on with your exercise. Now look at the movement of finger. Continue with this exercise. We require good control of swing machine and coordination of your hand movement and finger. stop. If you want to change the position of your material, be ensure that noodle should be inside of the material. This is the very sharp curve is here. So it is advisable that have a two or three stitch as per requirement by hand movement. Again, if you want to change the position of your material, then lift the pressure foot and ensure yourself that needle should be inside of the material. Continue the exercise. Stop the machine, 
change the position of your material while you changing the position needle should be inside of the material. Now this thread is left on the right side of the material it is advisable pull your thread towards bottom side. Look at here the top surface is neat and clean. Continue your process. Now 3 to 4 stitch overlap on previous one and stop the operation. Take it out your exercise. Trim the thread and pull the thread bottom side and knot it. Rest of thread trim it. On the right side there is no thread and is visible and the repeat same operation on the other side. This is a good practice for curve alignment. Second exercise is a curve practice. Transfer your French curve on fabric, the dimension will be the remain same and this is the good practice for combination of your finger, hand and machine control. See the level of difficulties is going to increase. Here little bit you have a trouble but try to drive it your machine slow as possible as you can. Here is a almost a straight line is there. After these exercise there is a lot of exercise for practice purpose is given in syllabus and it is advisable that a student should practice on different exercise as advisable in syllabus practice on that before you continue actual exercise or working on garment. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize in this unit, you have been familiarized with the working mechanism of machine. In particular, you have learned how to control the pace of the machines and understood the function of different part of the machine. You have also identified different type of error that may occur when using the machine. Thank you.